Welcome everybody to our demonstration of Euclid's Proposition 1. Namely, that given any finite straight line segment, it is possible to construct an equilateral triangle from that line segment. So, because we are assuming that we just have a straight line segment, let's just pick a couple of points, A and B, and suppose that we've got the line segment between those two points. Well, one of our postulates, postulate 3, says that a circle can be drawn with any center and any radius. And so what we want to do is to take point A to be the center of the circle, and we want the radius to be just the length of the line segment from A to B. And so if we do that, what it gives us is the circle D. Now we want to kind of flip that around and say, let's use B as the center of the circle. And we still want to have that same radius, namely the line, length of the line segment from A to B. And so what that gives us is a new circle, little e. Now those two circles are going to intersect at a particular point, And let's say that point of intersection is going to be C. Well, another one of our postulates, postulate 1, says that between any two points there can be drawn a straight line segment. And so that's exactly what we want to do. We want to draw the line segment from A to C, and then we also want to draw the line segment from B to C. Now, if we go back to the definition of a circle, what we know is that the circle is a set of points that are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. Now, because A is the center of circle D, and points B and C are on circle D, it means that the length of the line segments AC and AB are going to be equal. Likewise, because E has point B as the center, and C and A are points on the circle, E, then it means that our line segment AB is going to be equal to our line segment BC. Now, coming back to one of our common notions, common notion number one says that things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to one another. So what that means is because we have line segment AC congruent or equal to line segment AB, and line segment BC is equal to line segment AB, then it means that line segment AC is equal to line segment BC. And so what we've shown then is that all of our line segments AC BC and AB are all equal to one another and hence an equilateral triangle, as was to be demonstrated. See you all next time.